Hello there, my name is John and for today's Nostalgia Trip we'll be travelling back to 2003 to play Lord of the Rings Return of the King on PS2. Got me two pounds. The reason I'm playing this game is because it's been heavily requested by one of my friends, which basically means he mentioned it once in passing and I decided yeah I'll do that. This game comes from a time where all big movies had a big movie tie-in game and usually they weren't pretty good, but let's see how this one holds up. Wait, the game's not made by Ubisoft, it's made by EA. Oh, I haven't actually put the game in. Prince of Persia was already in the PS2. Now for fuck's sake, two seconds. There we go, much better. There are very few things louder than the THX logo sound. Ah yes, the game is made by these lovable bastards. They're just lucky that the logo is really nostalgic. No game. I get to decide what film clips I awkwardly shoehorn into my videos. How can that be your decision? Ah uh, yes, the most famous battle from Return of the King. The Battle of Helm's Deep from the end of the different film. Whoa, look at that transition into gameplay, that was awesome. When you parry, you're literally indestructible. It's great. Up here. The wall must be defended. Well, you look like you have everything under control, but yeah, I guess I'll do everything for you anyway. There's one guy there defending the ladder. Let's go ruin his day. Good. I can't see what you're shooting at, to be honest. Oh, they're all the way over there. Oh, well, it wasn't that urgent then, was it? Stand down! Help me clear the causeway! Bring up the corner! Aragorn, you're literally going to be the king of Gondor. You're going to have to learn to do some things yourself. No one was too far away. That one was not close enough, but that one was just right. I didn't do anything perfectly, so it's just kind of dribbling out with no effect. All the clips are from the first two movies, which I believe is because the game came out two months before the film, so they couldn't use clips from the movie. Oh wait, that may have been slightly too informative for this kind of channel. Uh, let me try something else. Oh, that went swimmingly. So on the left hand side you have the missions where you play as Gandalf and on the right hand side you have the missions where you play as Frodo and Sam. But I want to play as Gimli so we're going straight down the middle. Gandalf. To the right of them! Frodo and Sam. To the left of them! Gimli. In front of them! Volley and thunder! Aragorn must call an army even Sauron's horde cannot withstand. I mean, yeah, but... I'm playing as Gimli, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be him doing all the heavy lifting today. Video game transition! What kind of an army would linger? Oh, the fog is making me walk slow. I really can't tell if this is faster or not. Be ready! These spirits bring ancient bones to life! You seem to know a whole lot about these ancient spirits, Aragorn. That's pretty sus. <laughs> Oh no, the path is blocked. I better use these conveniently placed spears to kill some ghosts. Can you really kill a ghost? Well, according to this game, you can. Not trained to kill the dead. Well, if you're not trained to kill the dead, who are we gonna call? Who are you gonna call? Yes, I ain't ghosts. It would help if either of the other two just killed one ghost. That's all I ask. Just one. Ooh, interesting, they're going for the uh, classic horror vibe with graves and fog, giving me uh, Night of the Living Dead vibes right now. Don't worry guys, just throwing some axes, which is a lot more accurate than your bows and arrows anyway. Oh yes, I just found some more conveniently placed throwing axes in this cave full of ghosts. I'm starting to think this place might be a little haunted. Just a theory, I don't want to come across as a conspiracy theorist or anything. Uh, they've got big fuck off poles and no one is giving me a hand. Yes, I'm talking about you, Aragorn and Legolas. Um, I'm in there somewhere, I promise. Oh, there we go, I'm finally getting through them. Oh, fuck off, why are there more spawning in? Oh, now that I'm actually winning, the others want to pretend like they've been helping me this entire time. Get your own achievements. Yep, I guess it'll just be me throwing axes then. Seriously, Legolas, archery is like your whole thing, so if you're not contributing that, what are you contributing? Aside from ridiculously vague exposition sometimes. The red sun rises. 
blood has been spilled this night. I want a ghost pulling the bridge back up. So ghosts can use their ghost weapons to attack us and interact with our everyday objects. What kind of weaknesses do they have? Like, what's the downside of being a ghost? I mean, it's probably all the dying and the internal boredom. Whoa, all those pillars spontaneously fell. What a coincidence. Yeah, if you guys at the back could just wait there a moment, I promise I'll be right with you. Thank you so much, we really do appreciate your patience. Uh, it's getting a little bit misty again. This haunted mountain holds many surprises. Wait. It's a mountain, and it's getting misty. You know what that means. Far over the misty mountains cold. Ooh, big ghosty boss man. Let's have at you. Oh, he's not actually that difficult. That's kind of disappointing. I think I need to put the difficulty up to hard because it's too easy at the moment. You learned nothing of the stubbornness of dwarves. Oh yeah, I put subtitles on as well. It's just inexplicably better than not having subtitles on. I think it's been rumoured that watching something with subtitles makes it easier to learn a foreign language. I don't think it helps when it's in English and I'm already English though. I also don't know if that is at all true. Welcome to Facts with John. Ah, uh, that's better. They're a little bit harder now. Uh oh. I don't think the dead like me crossing their bridge. They didn't have a toll booth though or anything. You gotta pay the troll toll to get in. Does that say 55 or 35? I'm not wearing my glasses and I can't see without my glasses. I would kind of prefer it if all 35 were there at once so you could fight them all at the same time. That would be fun. This is just one giant clusterfuck at this point. You can block swords from all directions at once just by pressing one button. Oh, and I just successfully done that one combo that I know at the moment. I might even have time for another level after this. Yes, guys. I done a fair job. It's weird because they have fair, good, excellent, and perfect. And nothing for just straight up shit. There is one issue with playing as Gimli, which is that it takes so long for him to do anything. Like, that's meant to be the quick kill move, but it takes him like three to five working days to finish it off. Who enters my domain? I love that the subtitles gave that free question mark, like he was just going Who enters my domain? Huh? 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 The size difference between the two of them is amazing. Not like Shadow of the Colossus amazing, but yeah, still. Oh, I hate it when boss battles do this. They're meant to be like, you know, the big cheese of the level. But then they have a load of underlings that pop up and have a go at you for a bit. Like I've killed over a hundred of these guys already. Probably. What the fuck is this? How many spirits does this guy have in his body? I mean, I'm not trying to king shame or anything, but Jesus. Wind of the mountain, I command you. I think Wind might be the overarching villain of this entire channel, to be honest. He straight up tried to kill Papa Ryder last week as well. It's not great when fighting the, uh, the regular enemies is harder than fighting the big cheese. That's the Ghost King character's name. In the film credits, it just says, the big cheese. Fight for me and I will release you from this living death! What say you? Bruh, you didn't do shit. They're all going to fight for Gimli now, not you. Gimli is going to be the new king of Gondor. Hurry! Everything collapses! Oh, thanks. I didn't notice this entire fucking mountain coming down. Did they literally just run off without me? Fuck you guys. Um, luckily, dwarves are natural sprinters anyway. They're very dangerous over short distances. It reminds me of uh, Indiana Jones, like when he's uh, running from the boulder in the first movie. Wait, why the fuck are you lot fighting me now? Your mountain is crumbling and the big cheese yielded. Leave me alone. I mean, my mates have run off without me, so I guess I am already alone. Oh my god, I hate this. It's all happening at once and I'm very afraid. Oh no, there's one of the bosses. Not like the big cheese boss though. This is like medium cheese. Bollocks. Well, I better try that again. Come on in. I'm ready for ya. Uh, I have like no health left. Well, this part was just an absolute clusterfuck last time. Just me and you now, medium cheese. No, leave me alone. Oh, I'm gonna die again. Just keep parrying and I'll be fine. Bollocks. I'll stop parrying for one second. I better try that again. 
Why do I feel like there's more enemies this time? That's probably not a good thing. I'm not particularly competent against multiple enemies at once. One thing I do actually remember about this game is that if you don't kill the ghosties fast enough, the mountain collapses and you die. Just spamming the same combo over and over again seems to do the trick. Okay, this is getting a little bit out of hand now, guys. Parry, 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 parry. I don't think I'm gonna get out of this one, to be honest. Oh, I did it! No, the mountain is falling. God, I wish I was playing as someone that's a little bit faster than Gimli right now. Oh, no, I don't. I love Gimli. Nope, I got crushed. Going under a mountain seems like a pretty stupid idea right now, doesn't it, Gimli? Oh, I did it! Run, run, run! Oh, there you two are. Fuck you both. No, 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 please don't let me die again. I will not die. I cannot die. Yes, I thought I saw a health pickup thing there. Come at me, ghosties. Oh my god, there's three medium cheeses. Shit. No, 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 I've taken too long. That's the fucking mountain. Quick, team. Kill, 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 kill. Oh, fuck you, game. Oh, fuck you, game. I've turned down the difficulty to normal just so I can finish and then find a corner to cry in. Oh my god, so it was literally just that bit that I needed to finish? I am so done with this game. Well, at least for now. Time to hand over to future John. Well, I have to say that playing this game was a lot of fun. It takes a lot of things that are familiar to the movie, and I think it adapts it quite well to PlayStation. It's not the perfect game in the world, though. The camera is a little bit annoying because sometimes you want to move it, but you don't have any control over the camera because because it feels like they wanted to make it more cinematic, which means they spend a lot of time putting just this one shot for each scene, so to speak. So it can be a little frustrating. But overall, it doesn't detract from the quality of the game. And the graphics for a 2003 PS2 movie tie-in game, not that bad. And I think they got a lot of the actual cast to reprise their roles, which is always nice to see. It was probably in their contract somewhere. Anyway, that's about it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I post every Friday, but don't forget to ring the little bell for notifications anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.